Or how about this? Is, I don't know, an 11.1.8 system audibly better than 9.1.6, better than, you know, 7.1.4? I think it'd be interesting to test whether raising the channel count really does improve, notably, spatial resolution, or is that just something we say? Um, I think another question would be, would proper playback of content properly encoded in DTSX sound better than proper playback of content properly encoded in Dolby Atmos? Because to me, that's that test you're talking about, because DTSX does have the heights, that base layer, and the tops. Um, RO3D would be interesting to test as well. But unfortunately, I don't think it's possible because I don't have content that I'm aware of that was properly encoded and then converted. If any of you are aware of some mainstream content that was done in both Dolby Atmos and RO3D, let me know because I'd be curious. And there, you know, there are there are a couple systems I'm aware of that might be able to test this where they've got the high channel count and lots of speakers and they can be configured in lots of different ways and moved around. Adam's actually, he actually made his so you can move the speakers around and everything. My system, you can't, um, and I didn't run enough wire to do what I'm saying, but it is something that in hindsight, I kind of wish I had done, uh, other than I don't know that I want to pay for that processor. <laughs> Just like you guys don't either. It's a great processor. 